What's up guys? Stan Lake here with Catching Creation. Today, we are in the Green Swamp Preserve looking for carnivorous plants. I know it doesn't sound exciting, but it totally is. I love finding these things. I'm gonna show you guys a couple different species that we have here in North Carolina. So stick with me, we're gonna find some cool plants. I know it sounds crazy, but plants are awesome. Right now, I am really excited. See, normally I would get this excited about finding a cool snake or a frog or something out in the woods, like an animal of some sort. Believe it or not, I'm this excited about finding a plant. What kind of plant do you say? Let me tell you. Stop being presumptive. I'm gonna tell you. Check this out. It's a Venus flytrap. We're in the Green Swamp Preserve in North Carolina. This is one of the only places in the world that these Venus flytraps exist. Come here and check it out. Here's the bloom for the Venus flytrap. And then if you look right here, that's the actual Venus flytrap. Now these guys were designed to be able to eat insects. So not only can they use photosynthesis like normal plants to get their energy and nutrients, but they can actually trap flies or other insects kind of like this. What will happen is it will get into the little area inside the what's the actual leaf of it. And if a bug tickles it, basically if something touches it more than once in 20 seconds, it's got a little trigger system. So if a raindrop hits it, it won't close. But if something hits it in quick succession like that, it'll actually start to close. And the more it wiggles, the tighter the Venus flytrap gets and it produces digestive enzymes and it will break down the insect or the spider or whatever gets in there and it eats it and it uses those nutrients because a lot of times these bog areas where they live are very nutrient deficient. So it has this adaptation to help it survive in these, uh, this environment. Very cool. This is a great find. I'm really glad we were able to get some. Got some great pictures. I'll show you guys those at the end of this video. Bleh. I'll do it one-handed. Check this out, guys. This is the anole lizard. This is one of my favorite lizards we have in North Carolina. The Latin name is Anolis carolinus. In case you were wondering and you wanted to speak a dead language with your friends. But this guy is really unique. This is actually a, uh, is it a male? I'm not sure. The males have what's called a dewlap, which is that little red thing that comes down. Blah, blah. They'll actually use it as a territorial display. This guy will change from green to brown, to black, to tan. They kind of change their color. A lot of people locally will call them chameleons, actually. They're not related to a chameleon in any way other than them being lizards, but they're a cool insectivorous little lizard. They'll eat crickets and flies and things like that. And uh, I'm gonna let them go, but it was just a really neat find. Right, check this out. Right in the middle of the trail as we're hiking, we found a little group of pitcher plants. These are carnivorous plants that uh, they have like a sweet kind of smelling nectar inside of them. And the walls are real slick, so if a bug like this fly, for example, that's sitting on top of it falls on the inside, they can't crawl back out and the plant will actually digest it. They're um, one of many species of carnivorous plants that are here, and it's just really cool adaptation they have to survive in these areas where there's maybe low nutrients in the soil and things like that, they can actually get nutrients and the things they need from the, the insects that kind of fall into their traps. Very, very cool. Whew, it's hot. <laughs> Check that out. That is a sundew. That's the third carnivorous plant that we've seen since we've been here. I believe I read somewhere that there's about 14 species of carnivorous plants right here. So cool. Woo!
Hey guys, thanks for watching this short little episode of Catching Creation. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and tell us where you want to see us go next. What kind of pictures, what kind of animals, what kind of plants would you like us to film for you? Because we'll do it.